Hello, I'm Nolan. I was requested to do a little tutorial for the way that I play Death Was Arrested by North Point Inside Out. Now, this isn't meaning you have to play it exactly the same way I do, but uh, if you're just curious the way I play it, uh, this is how I go. So, uh, starting out with the tone, uh, on the intro I usually keep the delay pretty light and I keep the reverb a little bit higher. Uh, that's just to not muddy up the intro line. Uh, and then for drives, I actually usually have a medium drive going, but I usually pick pretty softly. Um, it's also acceptable to just have your clean sound and play it a little louder, but I, I kind of prefer the tone of having a little bit of drive there and kind of backing off on it. Uh, so if you're playing in the key of B or A, it's going to go one way, but if you're playing in the key of G, it'll be a little bit different. So we'll cover um, the key of B first. So... Uh, how it starts out, you're playing the power chord in B, so on the A string, the second fret and the fourth fret on the D string. You're just going to kind of go back and forth and then occasionally add in this low E uh, from your E string. if you're playing in the key of A, what I like to do is take this E string and tune it down one step down to a D. And then you're just playing this A power chord and you got this low D note. to the third fret so so that's your four chord and then your five chord so you take your one chord and you take the D string and make that the fourth fret so the fifth fret and then your sixth chord the minor you're gonna have the open E and then an octave up this is an E here so the A string is on the seventh fret and your D string is on the fifth fret playing that it's to the chorus, I'm 
by the way, I've been playing out on my neck pickup, but just pick whatever pickup sounds good for you. Uh, when you get to the chorus, I put a little bit more delay in there, and so it's you should hear the repeat how the way that I like to play it. So then you're going, oh, your grace so free washes over. So this is essentially a C chord. You've got your your high E string playing on the eighth fret of C, your B string on the eighth fret, and your um, where is that the G string there is on the seventh fret. So and then you just drop down to the seventh fret on the E string for the next one. Then you add, you move the, um, the G string up to the ninth for the minor chord. And then for the next chord, so this is going to be the seventh fret on the A string, or the, sorry, not the A string, the G string, and the B string, and then the tenth fret on the E string. You second verse I kind of usually play sort of that you know that intro line except the uh, octave up uh, you can be a little more creative with it if you want to but you can just you know play those triads if you want the delay is not timed correctly but I think you kind of understand where we're going with that so however you feel like playing that second verse uh, and then for the second chorus I usually add another overdrive on there and start playing some octaves so that kind of sounds like <laughs> So if you're playing an A, it's just going to be... swelling like this on my body. Those are just triads, so similar to what we have here. This is kind of a, a D shape here, so you got 7th fret on the G string, 8th fret on the B string, and 10th fret on the E string here. And then you're just moving that E string, so... A string moves from the 10th to the 8th to the 7th. And then you keep playing triads along with that. there. 
Um, so yeah, and then I'll do some more octaves on the next chorus. And then at the end of the song, you kind of get to a point where you're like, Oh, we're